Your election has restored optimism and brought confidence to Greece in a way it hasn't seen in many years. Now, of course, as the Prime Minister, you have to deliver on your promises, your promises of growth, your promises of jobs, your promises of foreign investment. You've been meeting with world leaders here in New York City. You've been meeting with CEOs of companies. You've been meeting with bankers. Anything to report? Well, first of all, uh, I'd uh, like to point out that, as you mentioned, uh, something has really changed in Greece uh, since the elections. Uh, I think we made a good start. Uh, my government has a very strong mandate. Uh, to deliver uh, growth, which is the real outstanding issue that we are facing uh, in Greece after 10 years of crisis. Uh, investor sentiment is clearly moving in the right direction. Uh, our yields uh, are going down, uh, which is a very positive development. Uh, and overall, I think there is a sense of optimism uh, around Greece, uh, which uh, allows us to push forward with our agenda uh, in a much more aggressive manner. We have a very clear plan. We want to reduce taxes. Uh, we want to make it uh, easier uh, for businesses to invest, Greek businesses, but also foreign businesses. We want to take care of our banking problem. And my goal is very simple. I want to make Greece the success story of the Eurozone for the next three to four years. Debt has been the problem uh, for Greece in many respects. Are, is there any way for you to take advantage of those low yields you described? Well, first of all, we have a very, uh, we have, technically we have a high um, uh, debt to GDP ratio, but uh, if you look at gross financing needs over the next decade, uh, they are relatively low. Uh, Greece is returning uh, to the markets and uh, borrowing again uh, at uh, interest rates that are much more reasonable. We intend to repay our IMF loans back as soon as possible, and we have uh, already filed the necessary documentation. These are very expensive loans, so our debt is going to look uh, much, more, uh, um, much more reasonable, taking advantage of the lower interest rates, but also uh, our uh, debt uh, is going to be much more sustainable if we manage to restore high growth rates. No question. I know, Mr. Prime Minister, you feel straitjacketed by that 3.5% primary surplus. The previ uh, go previous government agreed through 2022. Have you talked about your creditors, to your creditors, about bringing that down to a more realistic level in the near term? Of course we have. Uh, and what and are I've, they telling And I've you? made uh, uh, the case uh, from the very beginning uh, that these primary surpluses are essentially a relic of the past. Uh, they were put in place at a time when there was little trust in Greece. Uh, now I think uh, we are moving very quickly to restore trust, not just in the economy, but also uh, in the government. And again, as I told you before, in a low interest environment, uh, we need to rethink um, those high primary surpluses and what they mean for our debt sustainability. But I've also said that uh, I first want to restore the credibility uh, of the government, uh, first push through with an aggressive reform agenda, uh, and discuss reducing the primary surpluses for 2021, uh, not necessarily for, for next year. We feel confident mm. that we can meet our obligations for 2020. Uh, we will be submitting our budget uh, within the next uh, uh, couple of weeks. We are in discussions um, uh, with the institutions uh, as we speak, but we feel uh, very comfortable that we can find a compromise that will not endanger uh, fiscal sustainability, allow us to push forward with our tax reduction uh, agenda, and certainly keep alive the discussion regarding the reduction of the primary surpluses. I sense there is uh, more momentum supporting uh, our arguments. You mentioned the important role that banks play in the Greek economy. You're already helping the banking system with state guarantees for some of their bad loans, but they remain crippled by, their balance sheets remain somewhat crippled by uh, the amount of bad debt that they have. Is there anything else that your government can do uh, such that Greek banks will start to pump more credit well, the economy. Eric, first of all, uh, you're right to point out that we have very quickly moved um, towards putting in place an asset protection uh, scheme that will allow the banks to offload uh, a large number of, uh, uh, of NPLs and NPEs, uh, and uh, that will certainly improve uh, uh, their balance sheets and uh, allow them to expand credit and uh, provide funds to the real economy. But as the business climate improves, uh, as asset prices uh, uh, improve, that will also help uh, the balance sheet of the bank. So uh, I consider this intervention to be uh, important. We will uh, legislate uh, uh, along those lines and make sure that we tie up all the loose ends 
uh, within the next couple of months, uh, and uh, the instrument is going to be uh, in place very, very quickly. So we've moved very aggressively uh, in addressing this issue because we recognized from the beginning that we need a three-pillar strategy to restore growth. Uh, we need a different fiscal policy, lower taxes, uh, a little bit of fiscal space as we've discussed. We need structural reforms that will make uh, Greece uh, much more attractive for foreign capital, but also for domestic capital to invest. And we need to address the banking problem. If we address all these three issues simultaneously, as my government intends to do, I see no reason whatsoever why we cannot uh, restore healthy growth in, in Greece and send a clear signal, not just to the international capital markets, but to Greek society that we've left the crisis behind us. On the subject of fiscal space, do the pleas from Italy and now the challenges that Germany is beginning to confront add momentum to what you're trying to achieve? I, I think so. Um, obviously, it's not up to me to um, uh, sort of recommend what Germany's fiscal policy uh, should, should look like. But it, it is, from one perspective, interesting that uh, uh, Greece is currently a country where um, uh, economic sentiment is moving uh, upwards, whereas uh, Germany is having uh, other, types of, um, uh, other types of issues. And I certainly uh, believe that in these times of negative interest rates, when monetary policy seems to have reached its limits, uh, that uh, we need to rethink some of the very tight fiscal uh, rules uh, uh, that uh, have been put in place for, for Eurozone countries. Obviously, we are at a different level um, uh, of tightness, and that is why I make the case that reducing the primary surpluses from 3.5% to 2.5% or even 2% is uh, certainly not endangering uh, our, um, our fiscal uh, discipline. If anything, it will allow us to repay our ba debt back uh, <laughs> without, without being constrained uh, in a, by a low growth environment. Do you think a 2% primary surplus is a reasonable target for 2021? Uh, I'm not going to make any estimates as to how quickly we will reduce the primary surpluses. What I will say is that uh, the fundamental logic of what we are proposing, uh, a domestically owned reform agenda, uh, that is going to make the Greek economy more competitive, more extrovert, more innovative, uh, was always uh, what uh, we were uh, striving to achieve. I want to make this a domestic agenda. I want to have the full ownership uh, of this reform agenda. And uh, yes, uh, I think that once we demonstrate that we're committed in delivering real reforms, it is only reasonable to ask for more uh, fiscal space. But uh, my, we, we are a new government with a strong mandate. Uh, we defeated uh, the populists uh, from the left uh, in the ballot box. We did it uh, by putting forward moderate proposals. We intend to govern from the center. Uh, we want to own the centrist uh, uh, agenda. And uh, I think we're sort of ushering in a new era um, uh, for the country, vis-a-vis uh, -vis the politics, but also the, uh, the economy. One sure way to attract foreign capital is through privatizations. How long until you do something with Hellenic Petroleum? Well, uh, we're starting with uh, the Athens airport. Uh, the process has already started. We're selling 30% of the Athens airport. We're looking into Hellenic Petroleum, and uh, we're contemplating uh, all, our, uh, all our options. It's a question of, uh, of price. We want to make sure that if we do sell, we sell uh, at a good price. But there is uh, a... Uh, uh, a very aggressive asset disposal scheme put forward by our privatization uh, agency that includes uh, uh, highways, uh, ports. Uh, there will be uh, privatization assets related to the energy sector, uh, which uh, will be offered to investors um, uh, very soon. Uh, but Are you speaking of the power networks or specifically spe of the uh, public power corporation? I'm speaking of uh, splitting, um, splitting, carving out uh, networks from the public power corporation, which needs capital to invest in renewables. I've made a very clear commitment that I want to decarbonize uh, by 2028 uh, and shut down all our lignite plants by then. Uh, and the public power corporation needs to move into renewables. One quick question I have to ask you before we finish. You've met with President Erdogan of Turkey mm -hmm. here in New York. Have you reached any agreement on, with him on what's going to happen to the, uh, the migrant refugees that he has threatened uh, you know, to, to release effectively into Europe? Many of those would surely cross the Aegean into Greece. I had a good meeting with President uh, uh, Erdogan. It's my first meeting uh, in my new capacity as Prime Minister. We want to make a 
an honest uh, restart and improve the state uh, of Greek-Turkish um, uh, relations. Of course, uh, I raised the issue of, uh, uh, of migrants coming across the Aegean. We've seen increased uh, numbers of, of migrants, and I'm sure that Turkey can do more. Uh, in implementing the EU-Turkey uh, agreement so that we are not faced with the situation that we currently have to address uh, on, uh, on our island. So I certainly raised uh, the question. I think the EU-Turkey agreement is a win-win agreement provided it is implemented on all sides. Uh, and of course, it, uh, it is sensible, as it was sensible, uh, to make sure that EU supports, uh, the EU supports Turkey with funds uh, as Turkey is managing a complicated situation on, um, in its own territory.